This video will take you through the process of making a sedimentological collection of lacquer peels for teaching purposes at the Department of Geology and Paleontology, Comenius University Bratislava, Slovakia. Lacquer peels are panels of originally loose or poorly compacted sediment, fixated by glue or resin, resulting in a preparate with preserved sedimentary textures and structures. A great advantage of the lacquer peels relies in the possibility of observation of numerous sedimentological features in a classroom, instead of traveling many hours between outcrops in the field. The panels shown in this video were acquired using methodology described in detail in the paper by Stufetal 2019. We used the bison kit glue, which can be bought in a regular shop with household goods or crafting supplies. The lacquer peels were collected at three sites, located in the Eastern Danube and Novohrad Nograd basins in Slovakia, Central Europe. The first site, the Nova Vieska sand pit, is an early Pleistocene river terrace. The succession consists of subaquatic dunes, ripples, upper plain beds and massive sandy gravel units with clay intercloths. The lithofacies are arranged in lateral accretion bars and unit bars. You can check this paper for detailed description of the site. Here you can observe a unit bar above flat plane facies. Perturbations are very frequent on the outcrop. as well as mud interclasts. The major part of the outcrop is made by subaquatic dunes. Let's see the workflow. Firstly, the outcrop is cleaned to a flat surface, which is slightly inclined. A spatula is a perfect tool for this. Then we can apply the glue which is pure directly from the can. Excess glue runs down, dries and can be removed later. It takes around 24 hours for preparates to get dry enough to be removed. Of course it depends on the weather conditions. Since the fluvial sand on this outcrop was rather loose, it was easy to remove the panel from the outcrop wall. And the first result is satisfying. The second site, called Pribelce, is a huge quarry in the southern Slovakia. It exposes numerous tidal dunes, tidal bars and tidal flat strata with alteration of sandy ripples and muddy laminae. The major part of the outcrop was likely deposited in a large tidal channel of the Miocene Paratetis Sea. Similar tidal channels are present for example on the recent shore of the North Sea. Again, check this paper for more details. Here you can observe the quarry. And first site for lacquer peel represented by a tidal bar. Let's see the location for the second lacquer peel and go for a walk around numerous tidal dunes. This deposit consists of tidal ripples and mud rips are frequently broken by strong currents. The third side is composed of tidal dunes and is located on a fallen block of outcrop. Let's see if the work was worth. Despite light rain during the night the preparates were fine. However, it took around 20 minutes to dig out each due to the compact sand and mud. The third sampled site is located in an abandoned sand pit near the village Malikrtiš. 
The outcrops show an alteration of wave-dominated strata composed of hummocky cross-stratified fine-grained sands and symmetrical ripples, and of massive sands convoluted bedding of slums and high pignal fall beds representing fluvial signature. The association of facies implies the paleo-environmental position on a pro-delta slope. The outcrop is ugly at first glance, but some effort with shovel, spatula and brush improves its look. The sampled sites are mostly focused on hummocky cross stratification. Again, the Miocene sand is rigid, and digging the preparate out of the outcrop takes some time. Moreover, some pieces of the sediment are attached to the peel, what requires some post-production. The final cleaning of the lacquer peels was done in our sedimentological laboratory. Attached pieces of sediment could be removed very well by using scissors for metal. And finally, let's see the results of the job. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.